Dark Souls Ultimate Edition. Oh, little limited edition even. I'm I'm I should learn to read. Anyway, Dark Souls Limited Edition. Basically, it's um this is a game my brother got because he really likes Dark Souls and you have the limited edition. It comes with the game itself and the art book. I'll probably take both of them out later, but prepare to die from the makers of Demon Souls and Digimon. Oh wait, are you referring to you're referring to From Software, weren't you? Oh, my mistake then. Um, anyway. This limited edition exclusive content comes with the game Dark Souls behind the scenes DVD, an art book that nobody really cares about apparently. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why Stuart Ashton said this in his one of his limited edition videos when talking about Blaze Blue. I mean, like, I don't know why he said art books are pointless because they're making me follow into his footsteps. And yeah, I don't know why he says says that. I mean, like, now I think of it, art books are kind of interesting. And he's like, oh, you should like. Oh, uh, you can just find his art anywhere on the internet or something like that. And, but, I mean, I know he's a great reviewer, but that's, but that's one of the things I disagree with, on, to be honest. Anyway, Dark Souls, I never really played it. I've seen, apparently, people people say it's one of the hardest games ever, so it must be true. Yeah. Dark Souls, art book, art book. Oh, yeah, and by the way... What the? Oh, there we go. The discs aren't there because apparently my brother doesn't want them to be in the book because cause they might get scratched easily. Ugh. Dark Souls. It's the same, pretty much the same height as the, as the, as the Blu-ray case. But okay, I should probably try and putting this back in now. That's not. That's gonna be, gonna be a bit of an ordeal, especially if you're gonna do it with one hand. Hang on, jump cut. There we go. Yeah. One of the hardest games ever, according to most people. You can't pause in it either, because that means you can't pause in the game, which which is kind of a stupid move, because that means how you, if you're gonna like pause, like get a quick sandwich, um, and you're gonna you, you don't pause, you can't pause. So basically, yeah, and you can't pause. So basically, if you're gonna get a sandwich and monster comes by, you're basically gonna be dead. Yeah. Dark Souls 2. Yeah. This time it's personal. Go beyond death. Go to purgatory or something like that. I don't know. From from software's grueling out breakout hits be hits return to claim your soul. What? Anyway, this is like a PS3 game basically. It's like again it's hard and then Yeah, it's really difficult, so you need to be like really good at this game. Unfortunately, I never played this game, so I wouldn't know how the difficulty works. So my argument pretty much falls flat. Yeah. yeah Dark Souls Two. Pretty hard. Lost Planet Two. There's a lot of games here in my collection that seems to be um. Not, I never really played much of. But this being one of them, but basically, um, Lost Planet Two. Apparently, I think it's the sequel to Lost Planet One. A war too big to fight alone. Kill big or be killed. A one, a once big world of ice and snow violently awakes, awakens to uh, to all that war that leaves no part of the planet's surface untouched. E D N third is ripped apart as rival human factions fight upon each other and overwhelming alien forces in order to prevail. Prepare for a, for war on a planetary scale. Yeah. That's something you should care about, right? Last Planet 2. Um, yeah, apparently it's a game where you have to be in a war or or suffer the consequences or something like that. I wouldn't know. Star Wars The Force Unleashed Ultimate Sith Edition. Yeah. Now, if, I've only been like into Star Wars for a few months, so I wouldn't know a lot about it. Actually, that's not entirely true. I mean, like all the seven, all the seven movies so far, and so I would kind of know a bit of it. So consider me a fan. Yeah, I'm in. But yeah, I should probably start playing Star Wars games, proper ones, like other than like Lego Star Wars or something like that. But yeah, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, basically, you get your Lucas Arts. 
yeah. It's a pretty interesting game, actually. You can, like, do whatever Star Wars-y things you can do, I guess. But I should, I should probably start playing it. I mean, like, it's pretty interesting, to say the least. To say the least. Yeah, I have this game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And it's in a different, in it's the wrong region as well. You can see, I'm in Europe, so I should be having re games out of this region. I don't know how this would stand out. Not this region. Because this has a ESRB. Anyway, but who cares anyway? Because, like, PlayStation 3 games are, like, region free anyway. Anyway, this is the game that everybody hates for some reason. I mean, like, I say for some reason, there are a few reasons why people hate it, because, like, glitches and how it's not like the 2D Sonic games, and apparently, and apparently, if you like this game, that makes you a Sonic fanboy, apparently. I don't, I don't even get it, because that basically just implies that it, apparently you can't, you, I mean, can't you have, like, opinions? I mean, like, not everyone can, not everyone's supposed to be, like, exactly the same everywhere. I mean, like, if you're, like, I mean, like, if you're, like, if you like a game that no, not a lot of people like, then is that a bad thing? Like, seriously? Why are people acting like it's a big friggin' deal? Anyway, Sonic 06. Yeah, I bought this game, like, I was trying to look for this game, like, everywhere, but what? And you're like, Jake, how can you try and look for a game that we hate? Wow. You're so, you yeah, must be in really bad taste. Anyway, but... Basically, I was trying to look for the game. They all have... All All they only had is the 360 version, but... I tried to look for the PS3 version. I just... It was, I just found it in my, in my luck. But it's the NTSC region. Well, NTSC... It's not really NTSC. It's just like... It's American, but it still works on PAL PS3s, but... European PS3s, and, yeah. There you go. Yeah, but a lot of people don't, a lot of people hate this game. I, I don't honestly don't, I honestly don't, I honestly kind of like this game. I mean, sure, it's not perfect, and, uh, I, mean, I mean, like, sure, it's not perfect. I mean, the camera is pretty bad, and, um, and sure, like, some points, I did encounter a few glitches, but, like, they're not entirely game-breaking, but, and, and loading load times are pretty bad as well, but it's not entirely terrible. I mean, like, this was an early PS3 game. Like, give it a chance. So, yeah. It's a pretty decent game, at least for me. I'm at least trying to give it a chance. But I wouldn't say recommend it. I wouldn't say, like, get it, because, like, cause everyone else is saying the exact opposite. So, yeah. Sonic Unleashed, yeah, this game is actually... You know, people say Sonic, Unle Sonic 06 was really bad and you shouldn't like it. This game has actually gotten quite mixed opinions, but... But... This is actually a really, really good game. Yeah. Yeah, basically this is a game where... It basically has two Sonics. You can play as the normal everyday Sonic in the daytime and then the Werehog Sonic in the nighttime and it's pretty freaking sweet. If you ask me. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually pretty interesting, like, you can have, like, speed, supersonic speeds, sonic speeding fast through the levels, but then you can also, like, be, like, action, action beat-em-up levels, like, with the Werehog, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. The must, the best read Sonic game ever conceived, not to mention one of the greatest 2D Sonics as well, said Games Trademark. Yeah. I agree. This is a freaking sweet game, and if you've never played it before, then why are you waiting for it? Get the game now. Especially get the one on PS3 or Xbox 360, because those versions are the best. Do not get the one on Wii or PS2, because those ones aren't very good. But, with my, well, why Sonic 06 was okay, and Sonic Unleashed was awesome, none can be as, quite as awesome as... Ta-da! Sonic Generations! Sonic's 20th anniversary title. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, actually. It's like, Sonic goes back and kind of goes back and goes back in time by Time Eater. And he goes, like, to meet his past self, which is pretty, which is always pretty good. Because it's like, um, it's like if I were to go back in time and meet my old self before I even made this account. Or, like, any other character, really. 
Yeah, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. New meets old. Yeah. And basically, we're Sonic, and then, like, yeah, both, and yeah. Two Sonics, two ways to play. You can play, like, you can go, like, speeding through all them. You can go, like, 2D mode, where you, like, go classic Sonic, where you can, like, go 2D all, all around the levels. And even through all the 2D, even through all the modern stages as well, you can, like, be 2D in them. Um, City Escape and in um, Crisis City and all those kind of places. And you can also be 3D and do use the boost thing that in Sonic Unleashed to like go pa go really really fast in levels like like in Green Hills and Chem Chemical Plant and um, yeah and Sci Sky Sanctuary. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Probably the best Sonic game that came out in like a, a while. Probably going to stay like that until a new Sonic game comes out. I mean, granted, Sonic Lost World on Wii U is pretty good, but not, not as good as Sonic Generations. And don't get me started on Sonic Boom. I played that game at my at my at Williams at my friend's house. Yeah, and basically, let's say, basically, it was basically really, really bad. Probably the worst Sonic game I've played that's probably... Son Probably the worst Sonic game I've ever played next to Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis on GBA. I mean, people say this game is bad, but... That's not true. This, I mean, Sonic Boom is probably the worst. But this game, this game is freaking awesome. And I suggest you pick it up as soon as you can. The Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Or as it's known in the uh, US as Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Co Collection, I believe. Anyway, yeah. An epic collection of over 40 gaming classics basically features Sonic, Streets of Rage, Echo the Dolphin, Shining Force, Golden Axe, and lots more. I mean, it has all seven Sonic games, or eight Sonic games if you count if you count Flicky as one, which most people wouldn't. But yeah, it has Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic Knuckles, Sonic 3 Blast, Sonic Spinball, and um, Sonic and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. But not, but enough about Sonic. We just talk, we're just talking about the rest of the games. We have Streets of Rage, we have Echo the Dolphin, we have Ristar, which by the way is one of the most underrated games ever. Vector Man, Dynamite Heady, um, Golden Axe, don't forget about the Golden Axe, and Alex Kidd, and Comic Zone, and Altered Beast. Yeah, the list goes on. Like, pretty much. All the all the Mega Drive games that mm, Sega developed on here, you have all the Sonic games in there except except for the Lock On titles, which is a shame. But yeah, we have those Sonic games. We have the Golden Axe. We have the we have basically all the ones basically. Play the classics. Play the originals that started all now in HD. Yeah, you can play Sonic. That's not Sonic Two. That's Sonic Three. Anyway. Still can't get over that, but yeah, this game's freaking awesome, and, you, and I really recommend you get this because, like, especially if you have memories of the Mega Drive when you were like young, or the Genesis if you're American. But yeah, if you have m many memories of the Mega Drive, then buy this game. Or if you really want to know what the Mega Drive was like, get this game. Still, I mean, like, one of the best compilations ever. <laughs> 